And uh, the today's mission is to exchange ideas on transforming libraries in the digital age. And this event is part of the All Digital Weeks campaign 2022. <clears throat> and the today's event's aim is to present the Biblio project and its approach to boosting digital skills and competencies of librarians in Europe. Um, we will present a spe spe specialization course, uh, which is very importantly aligned with uh, two European frameworks, the Digicomp and the Antricomp frameworks. And during the second half of the event, we will exchange ideas among participants on concrete projects for digital transformation of libraries. Um, let, uh, please allow me to say a few words about the All Digital Weeks campaign which is uh, running from the 14th of April, uh, March until the 14th of April. And it's one of the major pan-European awareness raising campaigns on digital skills and inclusion. <clears throat> and um, it's organized by All Digital Network together with uh, its uh, partners and member organizations. It's been running since 2010. And since then we helped uh, 1.4 million people in Europe to get online for the first time or enhance their digital skills to fully exploit the benefits and opportunities of digital transformation. So every year this awareness raising campaign brings over 100,000 participants from more than 20 countries and uh, we organize online and offline events and training opportunities tackling topics of digital transformation. Um, the campaign takes place online, but also offline. Many <laughs> events in digital competence centers, libraries, community centers, schools, and other venues across Europe. And in it involves international and national partners, international and local events. Um, the motto uh, of uh, this uh, year campaign is enhance to your digital skills. And we started the campaign last uh, or two weeks ago on Monday on the 14th of March. And uh, it was opened by the EU commissioner, Maria Gabriel, who said among other things that we are at a turning point for the development of digital skills. And then we need the support of all education and training stakeholders. And she expressed uh, uh, that uh, she's counting on, on us to carry on bringing this vision forward. Um, the All Digital Weeks campaign uh, is supported by the European Commission and several companies, including Huawei, Microsoft, and Certiport. And we also have a range of strategic partners, other European networks who are supporting the uh, dissemination and exploitation of the events and uh, campaign results uh, every week. And we are now in the, in the third week of the campaign. Uh, every week we have a specific topic uh, to be focused on. And this week's topic is uh, basically promoting the use of the European Digital Competence Framework, DigComp. And as I already said, uh, the Biblio project has, a, through its training courses, has a very strong link to put the DigiComp framework in practice. And you can see a range of events we are organizing this week, uh, including the launch event of this week yesterday, when we were presenting the digital, the, the updated digital competence framework 2.2 with the support of the European Commission and the Joint Research Center. Today we have the Biblio webinar. Tomorrow we have another project webinar, the Transfal EU project, where we are exploring uh, digital skills and as transversal skills. And on uh, also on to, also tomorrow. Uh, we will have a practical presentation of how the Digicomp framework is implemented in the Hungarian Digicomp system. Um, we have two more weeks, sorry, we have two more weeks of the campaign. Uh, next week, we are going to organize events uh, on the topic of achieving cybersecurity and safer internet. And uh, the following week, uh, in the middle of April, we are going to explore STEM and STEAM skills for society. And 
very importantly, encouraging girls and women's particip participation in STEM studies and careers. So please uh, keep an eye on the events calendar of All Digital Weeks. And uh, I'd like to, again, thank you very much for your participation. And I would like to give the floor now to my colleague, Gabriela Ruseva. Speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Peter, for this uh, nice introduction into the All Digital Weeks, which are the framework of our events uh, during this period, including today's event. Um, today we have a number of um, uh, renowned <laughs> speakers in the Biblio community. Uh, first of all, uh, we will hear from Professor Nicola Barbuti uh, from uh, the University of Bari Automodo, uh, the coordinator of the Biblio project. He will tell us about the project, um, what we have done so far, and what are our plans for the next less than one year uh, within the project, but also further on. Then we will hear uh, from Alteo Valentini, uh, from Egina, and also uh, chair of the All Digital Board, um, who is also a very prominent member of the uh, Biblio project team. Uh, and he will tell us more about uh, the um, training framework and um, how the digital, um, how the Biblio uh, program is uh, mapped to the digital competence framework and the uh, uh, competence framework for entrepreneurship skills. As Peter mentioned, the training program is aligned to both of these uh, uh, European frameworks. Uh, and then uh, we will have an interactive panel uh, with four participants of the Biblio specialization course, which is currently ongoing, uh, a, a course for library professionals we will hear more about the course and about the, the two profiles from Alteo in more detail. Uh, and then we will um, have an interactive panel with four of the participants in the course who are also uh, working um, professionals in the library field, librarians or other specialists related to the field. Uh, about their practical experience from the course and also about their uh, project ideas for the transformation of the library uh, in the digital age. Uh, each of them is carrying a very interesting idea that they will share with us to inspire us. Hopefully among the participants, there are also other participants from the course uh, who can um, also use this as a basis for their ideas. So I really hope that uh, this event will be inspiring for all of you. And um, without further ado, I would like to invite Professor Barbuti to uh, introduce us to the Biblio project. Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Peter. And uh, thank you to All Digital for uh, hosting uh, the, the Biblio project in uh, its uh, All Digital Week. Um, when I think uh, uh, to the bigger project, uh, the first uh, word uh, uh, I have in mind is that I am proud to be the, the coordinator of this project. And I'm proud because this project uh, addresses uh, a first-rate challenge in Europe today. And we are sure that this is a first-rate challenge. And the challenge is uh, to provide uh, the uh, future digital librarian and digital curator with the competencies, the skills and knowledge for addresses the challenges of the digital transformation. I, I, I read just before that, that uh, you tomorrow have another uh, meeting uh, um, uh, that, uh, that is related to the transversal competencies. Well, uh, digital competencies are uh, naturally transversal competencies. And, uh, and uh, uh, my, my opinion is that uh, the um, humanist competencies are the basic competencies for uh, creating the new uh, professionals uh, in the uh, cultural, heritage, cultural heritage of the future, that is the digital cultural heritage. And this is the challenge of the libraries, that uh, we must not uh, think as the uh, current libraries uh, that we know, uh, not as we thought as uh, at the libraries uh, up to a few years ago, but they are uh, the uh, results of the uh, digital transformation we are living. Uh, all uh, all of us is living this uh, this uh, uh, 
era, this particular year, the era that, that, that is creating new contents, uh, new approaches to the knowledge uh, and, and so on. And uh, in these last days, we are living uh, on our, uh, in our heart, in our minds, the, the, the meaning of the, this digital era with, the, with all the information we have uh, about the dramatic events uh, of the world. And uh, I think that this project uh, addresses this challenge uh, in uh, a, a really, really innovative way. And, uh, and I, I think that my opinion is not so abstract because uh, we, uh, about uh, one, two months ago, we, uh, we uh, uh, known that our, our project is a model for uh, uh, some other people in other countries. We, we, uh, we have been called by the Sri Lanka uh, for uh, presenting the project uh, uh, for uh, the announcement of their libraries, uh, the, the universities, uh, uh, universities libraries of Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, uh, this project is based on the Biblio model. They told us that we, they want to base their project uh, on the Biblio model. Um, they, uh, want to use this model for uh, developing the competencies uh, in their lands and uh, i think that it's this is this is perhaps the the, the one of the best uh, confirmation that uh, our work uh, work with all the partners involved in this project uh, all the uh, extraordinary partners of the with their excellent work that uh, all together we are uh, giving to this uh, to this uh, training project, I think that this is the confirmation that we are uh, that we are working on the best way that we can, uh, related to the time we are living, and uh, the contents. Uh, uh, others, the, 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 the training of these new professionals. Uh, we uh, um, in the in the surveys in Europe uh, done by uh, the partner Public Libraries Twenty Trent. 2030, uh, one years ago, uh, the results uh, say that that the two competencies uh, needed in the in the library sector are uh, a front end co uh, competency that is uh, digi competency we offer in our project, and uh, the uh, communication competencies, and. Uh, this is the other profile we are uh, providing with the, the needed uh, knowledge to uh, to be uh, the professionals of the future. Uh, but I think that um, better me can explain uh, the ratio and the contents of the project, my colleague Teo Valentini. So I think that I can give him the words to uh, present uh, deeply the, the way we are uh, addressing with uh, our modules, with our contents, uh, and the articulation of the project, uh, hoping that uh, uh, the results we will obtain at the end will have uh, the uh, impact we uh, think that it can have uh, in the, all the country involved in the project. So thank you, and I give the, uh, the, the ball to Alteo. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Nicola. So I think I can jump straight into the presentation of uh, Biblio uh, training framework. And to do so, I will share my screen, which I cannot at the moment. If you can support me with that. Yes, Alteo, you should be able now. All right. Yes, I am. Here it is. So let me share uh, the enthusiasm from uh, Professor Barbuti on uh, being part of this project, which, uh, which we um, developed together um, since some years, and we finally had the chance to, to sorry, Thank you very much. We uh, finally had the chance to um, implement uh, during these years 
um, although <laughs> the, 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 the challenge of the COVID pandemic, uh, 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 as for all other things, gave us some troubles. But anyway, um, here it is. Um, this is a, a cooperation for uh, innovation and exchange of good practices founded within the sector skill alliances of the, the previous Erasmus Plus uh, program. Uh, the project has been actually extended uh, recently. So this is the original period, uh, including three years of activities, which now will last even until uh, the beginning of next year in order to give us the chance to implement correctly one key activity of the Biblo project, which is the work-based learning that I will present later on. And uh, um, it is a quite unique project within uh, this specific field of uh, the Erasmus Plus program, where usually qualification in very hardcore skills, I would say, uh, are uh, developed and promoted. I'm thinking about mechatronics or uh, some other industrial areas. And this is probably one of the reasons why we were successful, because the commission really recognized the relevance of innovating also in the humanities and the cultural field in terms of vocational training. Therefore, this is our main uh, objective uh, to develop skills and uh, competencies in the library sector by introducing the concept of digital transformation through the uh, sustainable cooperation between sectors, representatives, and VET providers. And this is also uh, a, a, an objective that we are now, I would say, reaching um, quite extensively uh, through the implementation of several uh, key activities. First of all, as Nicola was mentioning, we focused on identifying uh, existing and emerging skills need in the library sector. It was a quite extensive uh, uh, research uh, exercise that uh, um, I will shortly present because it, it gave us a solid uh, basis for the development of a credible qualification framework. Uh, the final output of this research was the identification of emerging job profiles. When we started the project and the research phase of the project, uh, we were actually, we, we, we didn't know yet how many profiles uh, would emerge uh, thanks to the research. So uh, it was very important to uh, um, uh, engage and involve the professionals from the sector in order to understand uh, how and how many profiles to focus on within the framework of Biblio. And finally, this is something that we are actually focusing at the moment to develop high-skilled, uh, qualified and mobile workforce in the sector in order to uh, uh, address the mismatch between formal education programs and the needs of the labor market. More operationally speaking, uh, this is what we aim to develop, uh, a European VET curriculum uh, shared among the, the partner countries composed of a MOOC that has been already developed and implemented, and a specialization course, which is the focus of today's uh, uh, meeting. And I'm really glad that we have uh, participants from all countries uh, uh, in, in, the, in the panel after my presentation. Uh, the aim of the project is also to support the recognition of this new qualification at EU level. We have all the tools and the stakeholders that we need in order to uh, 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 ensure this recognition. In fact, in each country, uh, uh, we managed to involve a, a sector representative partner uh, that, is, uh, uh, that has the mandate to innovate also the educational uh, dimension of the sector. And as I was mentioning before, a very strong 
focus on work-based learning and international intergenerational learning in vocational training. Our current participants in the specialization courses, in fact, will shortly have the opportunity to implement uh, a period of work-based learning in a local library where they will first uh, promote the implementation of innovative activities and projects, but they will do it uh, also taking advantage of the experience of those who uh, have, uh, who are already uh, in the libraries and can then transfer the more uh, specific and thematic uh, competencies to, to, to the new generations. Uh, glimpse on the partnership, uh, Italy is coordinating with the University of Bari and the, uh, uh, the central catalog uh, of the Ministry for of the Ministry for Culture of uh, the Italian Ministry of Culture and Egina, which is the um, the uh, vet center that I represent and, and manage, uh, with the aim to support the uh, creation of the course and the implementation of the training activities. Then in Bulgaria, Latvia and Greece, we have both uh, one VET partner, uh, the, the orange one, which is able then to deliver uh, uh, EQF5 uh, training course supported by uh, the national uh, uh, network of public libraries or, uh, commun or um, um, a, a number of associated partners uh, that can then uh, promote the recognition of the qualification. We have also a very strong uh, uh, European dimension with the support of two uh, European networks, all digital, that you know and that he's hosting this uh, uh, webinar on the project and also uh, we are very lucky to have the participation of public libraries 2030 uh, that contributed massively in the uh, first uh, phase of the project and now is supporting its dissemination until mm -hmm. the end. Before uh, dipping on into the uh, technicalities of the qualification for, uh, of the qualification frameworks, uh, I would like to briefly uh, report on the findings from the research that brought us to identify the emerging job profiles. First of all, the starting point, as you can see from this graph, uh, we started from a very relevant condition that uh, uh, is clearly uh, uh, highlighted here with all four countries involved in the partnership at the bottom of uh, the ranking in uh, uh, the DAISY report 2020 for uh, human capital, the uh, internet user skills and advanced skills. So it was clearly and easily um, uh, identifiable the need of such a project in all the countries represented by the partnership. Um, the road to the Biblio job profiles, um, as I said, there was a, a very long, uh, almost one year uh, research phase that included a desk research, uh, training needs survey, then validated with in-depth interviews, but also uh, a, a focus on um, uh, best practices from the VEC sector. And then finally, the, the, the identification of the emerging job profiles. From the first very uh, activity um, in, in the research phase, uh, it immediately um, uh, it was immediately clear that uh, expectation of basic digital skills for work in other countries and uh, the need for user needs analysis to best design activities. 
it was also clear that um, uh, the the offer uh, in the in the in the in the market was lacking uh, digital uh, digital skills and both specialized digital skills, but in different sectors. Ninety four percent of uh, librarians uh, need to update their skills and knowledge to fulfill their task at work. So a very high percentage of respondents to the survey really declare the need for such a project. And uh, going into a more detailed analysis of the skills gap, you can see that uh, the two most relevant ones uh, were safety, because uh, uh, 40, almost 48% of librarians surveyed felt they were basic users in the in the safety domain of digicomp and the problem solving so the let's say digital fluency on uh, uh, solving problems at work or supporting the uh, customers the the audience and the users of libraries in solving solving digital problems you can see from this slide also how we uh, uh, used Digicom 2.1 as um, the main framework, not only to develop learning outcomes, but also to investigate on the skills gap. Uh, about training needs, um, the key training needs listed in the survey are where event planning, community facilitation, communication, information and data management together with media literacy and also uh, the uh, capacity and the awareness on understanding how uh, technological changes and digital transformation could impact on the um, on the sector so uh, about the user's needs and the capacity to answer uh, in an um, um, efficient way to them, uh, the survey uh, showed us that uh, those who are now working in libraries um, uh, should improve the capacity to create digital content, to communicate with users, both in online and offline environments and to analyze user needs in order to then provide more useful and relevant services. Um, as I said, uh, the first initial uh, results of the survey uh, were then validated with in-depth interviews together with prominent uh, um, sectors representatives, both from the educational and the uh, librarian side, where the most relevant result was uh, to was shared among all countries. So the need of strong basic digital skills for all library professionals, in order to answer the users' uh, needs and to offer. Uh, a higher level of digital autonomy. I should go a little bit faster because it's a very, uh, it was a very intense and interesting in, uh, research, but we cannot, unfortunately, we cannot go uh, into much detail. Uh, just uh, to conclude this part, um, as I said, we also investigated the VET sector and actually, we wanted to uh, identify uh, the, what was already available and actually what the uh, VET uh, providers thought about uh, good practices and uh, uh, needed intervention. Well, uh, in this case, uh, it was clearly stated that uh, in order to provide uh, uh, quality training in the sector, uh, a blended form, a blended learning format uh, could be a, a very good approach, combining the provision of uh, theoretical aspects online, even 
uh, following uh, uh, already existing, very, very good already existing material uh, in a self-taught way. But also it is very important to include uh, uh, more uh, tutored and mentored uh, part of the training with learners implementing and experimenting the competencies acquired during the theoretical part uh, of the of the pathway. Um, also, it was mentioned that this blended learning approach should encourage a collaborative approach to foster European community, which exchanges best practices from each country. So uh, again, uh, the opportunity to exploit the digital dimension of the training, not only to uh, compare results and, and uh, share ideas at national level, but also and taking advantage of Erasmus Plus, trying to identify uh, opportunities for collaboration at international level. Finally, uh, with all these uh, um, information collected, we were able to uh, identify two job profiles. Actually, in the very beginning, uh, the partnership was thinking um, around uh, three different job profiles, but at the end, uh, we decided to merge two of them into uh, SICO, uh, which is one of the two, and, and then uh, this is what we are now offering um, a course that is focused on two job profiles at EQF level five, which uh, are matched to Digicom 2.1 competencies in each profile. The first profile uh, that is that was uh, the result of a merging of two, uh, two initial ones, one more focus on community engagement and the second one uh, on communication design services. It is called SICO, you can recognize him in the picture, which stands for Community Engagement and Communication Officer. SICO is a transversal public facing profile, so is someone who is working in the library but strongly connected with the community and with the needs of the community, which is able then to complement uh, other job profiles and roles uh, among the, the, the colleagues in the, in the library. The second profile with a very distinct role and function is uh, DG. She's a, a digital transformation facilitator. So she is not a technician or an engineer uh, with uh, hard uh, digital skills on a specific sector, but she is someone who is able to uh, understand the role of digital transformation with a technical approach to support the colleagues and the users with solving technical and digital problems and to actually contribute to uh, capacity building within uh, the library itself. Uh, something that I want to specify here is that these job profiles have been conceived not uh, with the idea of having them uh, as uh, um, um, specific uh, and unique role in the library. Well, of course, in, in depending on the on the dimension of the library, this could even happen. But uh, the way we have developed first the profiles and then the qualifications uh, uh, to be followed in order to, to specialize on these profiles uh, ensures also a capillarity uh, of the training that can be used even in smaller uh, libraries in order to uh, um, um, uh, improve uh, and reskill, let's say, 
uh, some of the existing um, uh, workers and technicians and managers. And this is also the way how some partners in, in the project consortium are now uh, implementing the experimental, uh, in, uh, the, the, the specialization courses. Uh, then about training modules, um, during the project, we have we are now developing actually uh, 20 uh, modules for digital competencies uh, mapped uh, into the levels five to eight of DigiComp and 18 modules for entrepreneurial and transversal skills map uh, within the entry comp framework levels five to six with also um, a reference to the European e-competence framework levels four to five. Uh, these modules are composed of uh, a combination of uh, uh, um, authentic and project-based digital, project digital content and a very uh, large collection of open educational resources that uh, will support the acquisition of the 38 competencies. Of course, uh, the way we have uh, uh, implemented the uh, pedagogical design of the qualification included a, 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 a phase uh, in order to understand which of these competencies could uh, be taught in the same way to the two profiles and which one needed a more dedicated and specific approach uh, according to uh, the, the, the profile itself. Going to this uh, topic, you can then see how uh, we have uh, composed the uh, uh, qualification courses for SICO in the field of digital competencies. These are all the modules uh, following the DigiComp uh, framework and uh, the entrepreneurial and transversal uh, competence. Um, on the other side, uh, the same uh, exercise has been done on uh, uh, Digi. So uh, something that can be noted here for example, is that although uh, DG uh, is a more technical profile, uh, it, it, it is um, evident how uh, digital competence modules are higher in the SICO uh, qualification rather than uh, in the DG1, which 16 instead of 17 competencies. Uh, very important, the presence of uh, uh, entrepreneurial and transversal competencies modules um, in both profiles, of course, but with a different uh, uh, approach. The first one in, the, in uh, SICO uh, is more uh, focused on the relation between uh, the uh, professional uh, with the community, so the external world of the library, while uh, the focus for DG is more dedicated to the internal relationship with the colleagues and also the uh, capacity to uh, transfer digital skills to uh, someone with low uh, level uh, of, of digital skills within the librarian sector. Um, the methodology for realizing the VET curriculum includes uh, a total of uh, 485 hours, uh, consisting of the previous modules that I already mentioned. Uh, we have already implemented the massive open online course for 80 hours, and we are now in the um, current implementation of the specialization courses especially the blended training uh, for a total of uh, 240 hours, including classroom training, uh, online activities and self-study and 
project-based learning, which is quite uh, fundamental because will lead the participant and the specialization courses into the next phase um, and the final phase of the training uh, for uh, 165 hours, hours in libraries. The course is, uh, the MOOC was developed in English while the specialization courses uh, is delivered in uh, all the partnership languages. And the final version will be ready and accessible uh, by next uh, October and for sure by in all languages in English by next October and in all, no languages by the end of the project early next year. I want to stress out this availability because we have been already asked by several organizations from Spain, from Africa, uh, as Nicola mentioned, from Southeast Asia as well, to use the material. So uh, we are now in the, let's say, piloting of uh, our work, and uh, but we, we can already confirm that uh, uh, a self-taught uh, version of the MOOC and the specialization course will be um, available for free for all the interested users and, and trainers. This is the training material, which I cannot, I don't think we have the time to, uh, to, to go into details, but as you can see, we have a video uh, for each module that uh, uh, introduce the, the main aim and the, and the topic. So it's very, useful also for uh, uh, checking uh, which modules could be more relevant for the specific users you are thinking and you are, you want to, uh, to involve in the training. Then there is uh, for each topic a PowerPoint uh, with uh, references to the open educational resources and links to additional material for self-study. And uh, also uh, interactive elements where following the training path, the user can uh, check uh, his or her knowledge in a formative uh, way. So um, again, uh, this was the call for, uh, uh, for, for, for the uh, courses. Uh, I hope that we will soon have the chance to open the course again, uh, also uh, with improved elements, thanks to the participation of the um, actual uh, Biblio learners from all European countries. Thank you very much. No, we cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Maybe it, it is no, just no, me. We cannot hear you. Okay. And you are not muted. I don't hear you. Um, yes, now we can. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes. yes. we can hear you, Gabriela. Hello. Yes, Gabriela, we can hear you. Can you hear us? It's okay. Hey, Gabriela, can you hear us? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> ah, you can hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can hear. Um... Okay, can I you hope hear you can us? hear me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry for this uh, technical question, um, problem. 
so yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Theo, uh, for this uh, very thorough but also very concise presentation of the Biblio project, which is an enormous work so far and in the months to come. So it's really um, a lot of things. I just wanted to say that uh, if uh, any of the participants has a question regarding the course, uh, please uh, feel free to post it in the chat. And uh, if uh, we have time in the end, we will address it. But uh, if not, uh, we will try to respond to it in the events report and follow up. Uh, but now, uh, without further delay, I would like to invite our four speakers. Um, they are from uh, each of the countries where the Biblio specialization course is taking place, so Latvia, Bulgaria, Greece, and Italy. And they are participants in the course. Um, first, I would like to invite each one of them uh, to let us know, uh, to introduce themselves. I'm not going to tell you more about them because they are going to tell you. Um, and to let us know uh, why they decided to join the specialization course. Uh, first, I would like to invite uh, Ruta Bokta from Latvia. So she's the uh, only one today who chose the DE profile. So uh, we are very curious to know why, Ruta, did you choose this profile? And uh, what is your experience so far? Uh, for this, we have like three, two, three minutes for each person, and then uh, we will go ahead uh, to the um, project idea. So maybe just now you don't need to, to share the presentation. You can, uh, well, it's up to you, but just to know that this is now the, the introductory part, and then we will do a second round of uh, introducing the project ideas. Okay, okay. So hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Ruth. I'm from Latvia, from Gulbane. This is a small city in, so in Latvia. The, the floor is yours for two minutes. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I don't think uh, Gabriela can hear us. So okay. please continue, we'll inform her. Thank okay. you. Okay, so I yeah, don't I would, think uh, we're here. about, uh, about um, why I'm in here. So uh, yeah, this is why I'm in here. Okay. In so um, I, I need new inspiration, oh, okay. new information, okay. and, and I'd like to to get new skills and uh, yeah and, and uh, what uh, why I, I chose this uh, digital digital transformation facilitator um, because um, I work with people uh, who, who who try to learn new skills. For example, I'm teacher, I'm lecturer. For them who who try to to understand how to use. Uh, how to work with computer, how to work with uh, internet. And it's very necessary for me to, to update my skills because digital skills are uh, uh, a lot of um, around us and I need to update my skills and I need to uh, teach them to, to, to new skills. And this is the reason why I'm in here. Yeah. And, uh, and do I need to tell about the, the, this, this, pro, this course? Uh, so, um, about this course. Uh, this is uh, about this course, uh, a lot of information, actual topics, uh, professional lectures and interesting homeworks. For example, um, yeah, it's, it's very interesting to, to, uh, uh, to take a test because it's uh, was 10 years ago when I finished high school. And for me at this moment, it's very interesting and to write, write the topics or write, uh, write the homeworks. And yeah, it's very interesting for me. And, and, and yeah, I think it, and this, these skills and this, uh, this information will be interesting for, my, for my, my students. Yeah, and this is the reason why I'm in here. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you very much, Ruta. So um, now I would like to invite um, the next speaker. Can you hear me now? Please yes, we me. hear you very okay, well. Okay, great. Perfect. <laughs> the next uh, speaker, um, Krasimira Nyagova from the Regional Library in Silistra in Bulgaria. Krasimira, please uh, introduce yourself. Um, Hello, please. everyone. Uh, my name is Krasimira. I have been um, working at regional libraries in Silistra, which is, which is a small uh, city in the uh, uh, northeast uh, uh, part of Bulgaria uh, since uh, 1995. I was a trainer uh, of uh, librarians for modern library services at Global Library Bulgaria program from uh, 2010 to 2012. Uh, 12, an um, initiative that was uh, 
financed from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, and uh, I participated <coughs> in many green initiatives within the campaign Go Green at your library that our library has uh, organized since uh, uh, 28. Uh, why I choose um, the course uh, Community Engagement and Com Communication Officer, or CQ. Uh, I'm a chief librarian of library user services at our library. And um, I choose this course because uh, I'm interested in the library user's profile and how to develop services and activities uh, based on the community needs. That is. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is why you choose the uh, SECO profile. Yes. Uh, another SECO learner uh, is from Greece, Angeliki uh, Giannopoulou. Angeliki, could you please um, let us know more about uh, yourself and why you decided to uh, do the specialization course in Biblio? Uh, hello from Greece. Uh, I'm uh, Angeliki. Angela is easier. Uh, I work at the Central Library of Patras University. I, I'm a librarian myself. Uh, I work here in uh, this library for 12 years. Uh, I am um, uh, in the I work in the front desk. I do cataloging, and uh, I'm responsible for the material of the European Documentation Center. And also, I'm responsible for a platform that uh, we have created here uh, with um, uh, e-journals uh, that published uh, from uh, the university that I work. And those uh, journals are uh, all uh, open access. Uh, I choose the Digi profile as well. I don't know if you know that. Uh, so um, uh, why I choose that uh, profile or about the courses? What do we want to say? Yes, just to share a few um, yes. uh, impressions from the course and why you selected this profile. I'm sorry, I, I was informed. That okay, it's okay. Uh, I thought uh, that uh, those courses uh, will help me to be a better librarian, uh, to learn about new techniques and um, to obtain new skills. Uh, in the library I work, uh, we use uh, new techniques and um, uh, I'm going to present you with uh, some proposals. And um, we are a um, member um, uh, in associations of uh, European association like LIBER. So we want, we want to be updated uh, about uh, new techniques and uh, all the new practices. And uh, we, we use digitalization uh, as well. Um, that's again the way I select the TG profile. That's the reason. Uh, my experience, my experience from that courses is excellent. Uh, I think the program is uh, very organized and um, and the mentors are uh, helpful and uh, communicative and. Uh, the, the knowledge is updated, I think. That's for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, well, I guess that nobody will say that the course <laughs> sucks, but hopefully it is really useful. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we are putting a lot of effort to, to make it up to date exactly. and the reaching content. So I'm sure it is. Um, so the, the last uh, speaker, uh, Davide from uh, Italy, could you please uh, introduce yourself and uh, why you decided to enroll in the course and what is your impression so far? Okay, thanks, uh, Gabriela. Nice to meet you, uh, Paul. I, uh, my name is Davide. I am a te informatic uh, technician, but uh, I choose to uh, study with uh, SQL profile uh, because I think it is a challenge for me. Um, I actually uh, dislike to read a lot of book, but uh, with the implementation of a technology, for example, or uh, with the digital uh, uh, implementation, uh, people uh, like me, uh, so I think the target of uh, millennials, of uh, young people, uh, can uh, um, love or uh, um, become to read uh, free lie uh, books. So uh, for me, uh, the, um, the 
aspect uh, of uh, SQL profile uh, uh, is a challenge. So um, I don't know uh, what else I can uh, tell. <laughs> that's uh, th that's fine for now. Thank you very much. Uh, well, now, um, as uh, we already mentioned, uh, we would like to ask each of you to present uh, your idea for the transformation of the library or project that the specialization course will help you to realize, hopefully, with the skills that you will acquire, because one of the main features of this course is actually that it culminates with a work-based learning. So, all the learners, uh, they are professionals or um, students in library studies, but who have already uh, some specific idea uh, which the course helps to, to crystallize uh, and to equip you with the skills that will help you to realize this idea. Uh, so I would like to hand back to Ruta to uh, introduce uh, her idea for the transformation of her library. So yeah, the name of my idea is assessment, uh, assessment of skills acquired during training. Um, yeah, I work in, in non-formal non education. This is my everyday work. And then as we know that non-formal education is not about tests, it's not about marks, it's not about exams, but it's about new skills, new information, uh, you know, contacts. And, and yeah, this is, my, this is my everyday thing. So, but um, for me, it's very actually to understand the um, level of the skills after the courses. For example, I have um, 16 hours uh, course, um, how to use computer and how to use internet. This is a connected course. And after this, I need to know the skill, the level of the skills. I need, I need to know the, the participants' feelings and, 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 and that, that's so, um, so, so, so. Um, yeah, I need feedback. I need the feedback after learning process. And uh, at this moment, I have some methods of, of this feedback. Um, and for example, individual form with questions, uh, this discussion, work in groups or pairs, and individual conversation. And um, I think that I'm, I'm sure that uh, this, this course uh, will help me to understand the method this, of this feedback. And this course the, um, helped me to develop uh, this learning process. And it's very useful, it will be very useful and very interesting for me because I need this, this feedback uh, thing, but I don't want to make an exam or test or something like this, but I need to feedback from my, from my um, participants. Yeah, this is the idea of, uh, of, of the project. Thank you very much. Um, do you, already see um, some impact from the specialization course, some of the skills that uh, you are learning in the course would help you to implement this idea, to realize it? Um, yeah, I think that at this moment, um, at this moment, because I'm, that's mom, uh, that's what I'm looking on the, at the program, I think this, uh, the, this design thinking and strategic thinking will help me in this in this field. Yeah, at this moment uh, we have a lot of digital things, but uh, this strategic strategic and 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 design, and design thinking will help me really in, in in this field. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, indeed. As Alteo mentioned, uh, the course is composed of uh, twenty digital and uh, nineteen um, entrepreneurship skills, or let's say more uh, transversal skills. Um, <clears throat> so. That's the aim also to, to bring those two uh, type of skills together to support each other. Thank you very much, uh, Ruta. Uh, now I would like to hand over to Krasimira to let us know about her uh, idea and her project. Uh, my idea is uh, about upgrading of one of our projects. Uh, how I say, uh, for more than 10 years, uh, original library in Silistra has been implement, uh, implementing a var variety of information and education uh, campaigns relating to the environment, energy efficiency, pollution, or preservation of rare of treatment with extinction uh, animals. In uh, my opinion, uh, we have to inform and work of these problems not only with students, 
but uh, we must attract more citizens to reach a positive impact. Uh, implementing the project, uh, this project, I consider that um, we can change the way of thinking of citizens of Silistra. The library could take a vast information campaign, uh, for example, for a year, to inform citizens about their impact on the environment through different approaches. Um, the regional library is uh, in of Silistra is uh, uh, the only one in the city. There are no other libraries uh, here. So we have a good partnership with uh, all schools uh, and other organizations. I would say that uh, the library is a community place for interaction and solutions. We could work uh, together um, on many various initiatives to impact people's behavior and uh, attract the community attitude to various problems related to the environment. I'm sure we can change our thinking, less pollution and more people who care after nature. Thank you. This, <clears throat> this is really inspiring to see also the role of the library in such important and pressing uh, societal issues <laughs> um, and the role of the librarians in very different um, fields and sectors of life of the community. It's really, really inspiring. Um, <clears throat> now I hand over to Angeliki. Angela, could you share with us um, how you already gave us a hint of how you are applying uh, new technologies to your library. I have a presentation, can I screen share? Um, yeah, I think you should have the, the possibility to do it. Yes. So uh, you can see the... Uh, yeah, now we see the presentation, you just need to enter into a uh, slideshow. So it's okay? Um, now uh, we see the presentation in a working mode. So we see also the other slides. Not so the... I can start, okay. But, okay. Um, so uh, today we're going to discuss about uh, implementing Internet of Things and cloud services for transforming remote e-resources access. Um, so we're going to discuss about the role of library in digital era digitalizations of material. Sorry, uh, we are still seeing your first slide. I don't know if you have moved to the second one, but we don't see it on the screen. Now you can see it? No, it's the first one. Only the first one? <clears throat> it seems like it is stuck, frozen. Now? Now it's moving. We can see the role of library. Yes. OK. Here, the role of library. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, some things that we are going to discuss. Okay, so the role of library. Uh, we are the same uh, slide, I think. Okay, we are in the role of the library in digital era. In... Yeah, we see the slide number three role okay, of library sorry, in the digital era. Sorry for that. Okay. Um, so, uh, libraries uh, are organizations that promote the cultural heritage of countries. Uh, these orga organizations use new uh, practices to serve uh, the new role. Uh, our new role is to, um, we try to connect uh, libraries and uh, citizens and uh, through uh, new techniques uh, so that uh, citizens can find uh, uh, all the information that they need. Uh, the right information, the correct information uh, through internet. So uh, we talk about it <laughs> later. Uh, libraries provide intellectual access to information in any format, evaluate available sources of information, organize and structure information, ensure the, pres the preservation of information, provide specialized staff to, uh, to, to offer uh, instruction. Uh, the digitalization of material ensures uh, the preservation and protection of rare items, but also the utilization by interested uh, parties. Uh, the ease of access, quick retrieval and promotion to a winter audience since the material is available on the internet, anywhere in the world, at, at any time dot. 
uh, great search capabilities in the content of a digitized uh, collection, but also increased uh, usability. And also the, the strengthening of cultural content and the development of sectors such as tourism, education, and entertainment. Uh, we use uh, libraries use free software to manage collections use a generic uh, web content management system such as WordPress or Drupal, which provide the basic, the basic tools for file storage, storage, content management, searches, and others. And also use a specific management system for digital repositories such as Omega or DSpace. Uh, these tools already can be prepared with all the functions uh, to load, catalog, and visualize digital collections. Uh, the part, um, this is my proposal. Uh, the part of Internet of Things with the. Uh, sorry, Angeliki, uh, to interrupt you again. Uh, we are still seeing the third slide. Are Why? You... Why that? I don't know. Uh, now it's the sixth one. Now? Now we see the sixth. Okay, this is my proposal. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, uh, you can now. Can I uh, now? Is the seven or no? No, it is still oh, the sixth. I think that uh, every time that uh, I switch uh, slides, I, I have to go back. Okay, I, I will do it. Okay. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry, for that. sorry. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why. So. Uh, the part of Internet of Things with technologies like RFID, machine to machine communication, will help the information retrieval as well. Uh, more specific, specifically, uh, machine to machine, or. Uh, uh, so, sorry, I got the seven. <laughs> okay. I got the next. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can I say it again? <laughs> This yeah, yeah, a, of course, please. Uh, few, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't, sorry. Yeah, it's a bit uh, disturbing to not be able to navigate. Okay, the I don't presentation, know. So don't worry. So this is the. Okay, this is the correct. Okay, as I said before, libraries uh, provide new technologies and use new practices uh, for helping people to find uh, the right information. Uh, the use of the art technologies like cloud services uh, for connecting citizens uh, with libraries is highly, highly recommended. Uh, technological development has brought a dramatic change uh, in every field. Uh, cloud computing is currently usually a customer to describe the delivery of packages in uh, fracture and storage services over the web. Libraries are updating towards cloud computing technologies for upgrading digital libraries. The ultimate goal of an information provider is to satisfy the user information needs. That is to provide the user with the right information at the right time through the right means. A prerequisite for developing personalized services is to rely on user profiles representing user information needs. Uh, so help people to find right information easy and quick, and quick through internet. So, the part, uh, the part of internet uh, of things with technologies like RFID communication will help the information retrieval as well. Uh, machine to machine or internet of things uh, is the automated exchange of information between libraries, both in the public as well as in the private environment. These communicate with each other or with a central location, uh, are increasingly using the internet and the various access networks, such as the cellular network. A common application is uh, the remote monitoring management, control and maintenance, and maintenance of machinery, equipment, and systems, which is traditionally called telemetry. The machine-to-machine -machine technology linking this information and communication technologies. And also, let me go to the other. Uh, the digital assistant um, uh, update automatically the user's uh, profile 
recommend books or files with similar content and their availability, send an email with the latest book arrivals concerning the user's interest, suggest an exclusive paid collections and provide access when the fee is deposited. Um, okay. Thank you for your attention. Sorry for the slides. Thank you very much and no apology needed. Um, I don't know why. Just, uh, really um, interesting. Need, uh, <clears throat> uh, we will share the presentation. Uh, we suggest to share the presentation after the event uh, with the participants, if you agree. Uh, yes. So that they can uh, revisit um, revisit it afterwards. Um, can I do it through chat? I, um, oh, yeah, but we will we will make sure to follow up on the event uh, with okay. all the participants. So don't worry, you don't have to do anything now. Uh, we will share it afterwards. Uh, thank you very much. It's really um, amazing to see <laughs> the multitude, the uh, whole spectrum of possibilities uh, that uh, new technology can offer. For example, I I don't even know. To be honest, uh, what is the RFID technology and what is the potential for libraries? So I really admire your work and uh, your perspective in our library. As well. <laughs> it's uh, for me, it's really uh, high tech and stuff. Um, but thank you very much uh, for this. Uh, finally, I would like to invite Davide uh, to share his experience and his idea uh, on the digital transformation. I know that you are also. Um, looking from a more technical perspective um, and uh, you have very interesting uh, things to share. Yes, thank you. Uh, if you give me some second, I can start my presentation. Okay. Okay, you can see the presentation. Yes, perfect. Okay, um, hello everyone. Uh, in first place, I want to thank you, uh, the coordinators for talking uh, with you today. I'm here to explain uh, communicative approaches uh, of an analog object aimed for a young audience. I have examined the following analog, analog object, a book with a digital uh, expansion. Uh, let me show uh, let me show you an example of this method. Uh, um, Xbook, the name of the idea of the project, uh, means uh, expanded address book. It should become uh, a portal for access to digital media uh, expansion via mobile application. Xbook uh, could become an innovative method of interaction with cultural heritage. Uh, SICO, uh, Community Engagement and Communication Officer Profile, uh, have to consider uh, that uh, young people uh, use uh, um, Facebook to be updated on the brand's product, uh, also use uh, Instagram to view the brand content, and uh, WhatsApp to receive uh, some uh, assistance. Uh, the important thing to consider uh, um, in the world is that uh, millennials like uh, uh, Generation Z uh, ask for an experiential approach from brands. Mm, in practice, they want to be an active part of the process. Currently, uh, millennial and Generation Z read mainly during school or university. To ensure their active participation in this activity, they should choose to read a book by themselves uh, attracted by interactive technology instead of uh, spending uh, their time on social network. Young people uh, uh, live, their uh, live their lives at uh, a completely different pace than the perception of uh, other people. Uh, so communication uh, should be intuitive, easy, direct and fast. It, will, it would therefore be necessary to stimulate them in a dynamic and interactive way in the production system. For example, with the hackathon uh, for the search of the content and digital expansions. Of course, uh, any communication strategy 
should be based uh, on uh, statistics. Accord according to the data of 2021, for example, we know that in Italy, the sale of books uh, has had a growth of 16% uh, compared to the previous year. But in any case, uh, we should make the right comment uh, on the increase uh, in the cost of paper compared to a reduction in availability of them. Uh, now, um, let's see a demo of, of uh, how the Xbook model uh, works uh, and how it should work. Uh, please uh, tell me that uh, the video start. Actually, Davide, unfortunately, we are still seeing the um, first slide of your presentation. I don't know oh. if there is some oh. kind of uh, wow. jinx over this event, but okay. none of the presentation uh, work. I interrupt. Okay. I try again to share the thank you the presentation. Okay, give me one second, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Don't worry, we are a bit ahead of schedule. Okay. So we are uh, not in a hurry. Now you can see the slide. Uh, it's still the first one. Okay. The second one? Yes. Now. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, I have uh, already uh, explained the slide, but I give a scroll of uh, of them to to see the the the, the main concept of uh, my idea. So this is the slide that I have uh, uh, explained by the, uh, the use of uh, young people uh, by social network uh, and social media. But uh, the main goal is to, to have and to do an experiential approach of, uh, of the idea of the process. So the, the main to uh, bring them active in the process is uh, by, for example, an hackathon to search uh, content and uh, digital expansion. Uh, this is the slide that uh, explained the increase of sale in Italy, for example, for the book in the 2021 uh, uh, compared to the last year, we have the 16% of increase. But at the same time, we have the increase of cost of the paper, also uh, the, the shortage availability of, uh, of card of the of the card to print them. So uh, this is the video to uh, where the, the idea is to become. Ye non zace fa vir salandrasat. Non zo puet cru caiella. Vutanit la mus e gli la gat. Ed fama la fazza in desacà. Chiù mallec la man e chiù la sbat. Quando scam le dig scetra. Cacciatene le doghe e fa scignau. Rasse meglia la voce du di aua. Ok, and thanks uh, for uh, the, the attention. I can stop the sharing screen. Thank you very much uh, for sharing this innovative idea. Actually, when you said uh, expanded endless book, um, what does it mean uh, for a book to be endless? How this technology will make the books endless? Uh, it's just stuck in my mind, this, this, this word, and I'm really interested to hear. Okay. Um, endless. Uh, with the digital implementation, we can uh, uh, upload to the analog uh, elements in this, in this, in, in this uh, example, we have a book, but it can be everything, every cultural element. 
so uh, endless uh, expansion because the, the um, I can add some digital info uh, without uh, uh, without a term without the a definite hand of the project so I can upload the by infinitive infinitive way uh, digital content like audio imaging video or uh, or other other things so this technology has um, immense uh, potential for, for uploading all kinds of, of, of content. Um, well, it would be very uh, cool <laughs> to see this uh, upscaled um, across uh, libraries. Um, well, thank you very much uh, to all the speakers. Um, I think uh, it was really uh, illustrative of the potential of the Biblio course and the skills uh, and the potential of upskilling librarians in order to be able to use digital technologies um, and uh, to expand the role of libraries um, in different fields. Um, since we don't have um, questions uh, in the chat, of course, you are participants are still um, free to, to ask uh, any question uh, to our speakers. Um, I just want to, to ask you one um, final question uh, before we close uh, the event. Uh, and it is, um, if you have to define with uh, one sentence, the most um, pressing or uh, need uh, in, in your library from your perspective. Uh, for example, I don't know, from, from what I've heard um, for David, it could be uh, to find a way to attract young people. Uh, for um, Ruta, it will be to, to assess, find a way to assess the skills of the, um, of the trainings that the libraries provide. But uh, what will be this challenge and in what term do you think uh, you, you, you will be able to find a solution? So, Davide, maybe you go first <laughs> since you, you spoke last. Um, so, what is the main challenge that you want to solve in the library of today? Okay. Um, the main goal, the main challenge to, to solve for me is not uh, what I can do in the library, but uh, what is library for young people? Library uh, for us, uh, for young people, is a place where uh, I can go, take a book, read and study. Here in Italy. <laughs> Stop. Okay. There is no interruption because I have to read and study in silence way. So this kind of uh, uh, perception of uh, library um, is uh, negative for uh, uh, engage people and uh, in this case young people because we have uh, to communicate another idea of library. So in uh, a library I can uh, uh, do uh, I can have a workspace with other people. I can uh, uh, read uh, some book in um, in a group way, no, in silence mode. I can uh, interact uh, with uh, with books, with augmented reality, or uh, with uh, technology. Can I do uh, docu film or uh, something? Uh, I can uh, use uh, musiater. Uh, <laughs> explanation of books of uh, other things so give another uh, um, thing another way uh, to thinking in a classic library in this way younger never never go in a library never i don't know if i thank you answered, very much uh, yes you you did and uh, we really do wish that more young people would visit and uh, uh, there will be more services that are uh, <clears throat> adapted and tailored to their needs what about um, what about Krasimira? What is your what is the the main challenge that you want to solve in the library today in your library? The main challenge. Mm -hmm. um, I think I said uh, that I um, I'm sure we could uh, change thinking of uh, people. Uh, our library um, thirteen years ago, our library participated in. Uh, big uh, European uh, content, uh, competition, sorry, uh, for energy saving. And um, after three months, 
participation, we um, won two uh, big uh, awards. Uh, first was for most uh, save, uh, save it, uh, energy in our building, but uh, the other uh, mo most important for us, for uh, all librarian staff was um, uh, for the best motivation campaign. How to uh, save energy only with organizational measures. Uh, and uh, there was, um, there were, uh, 130 participants from all uh, Europe, uh, and we we won the only the, uh, this only uh, award, and I think we can how um, you know, we can uh, motivate people to change their think thinking, uh, to um, save uh, nature, to um, use. Um, First, I, um, I think uh, to use less uh, plastic bottles uh, and plastic bags and uh, of course to, um, uh, to use eco-transport in our city. It is not a big city. Thank you very much. So the role of library as a change maker and as an agent of changing the mindset of people. Uh, mindset related to different uh, societal issues, uh, for example, energy efficiency, very important issue. Thank you very much. Uh, Ruta, how about you? Uh, what is the main challenge that, that you want to solve? Mm, for me, I think um, um, in Goulburn, a lot of people think, think that um, a library space where you can take a books and that's all. So for, for us, it's a challenge to to motivate them that it's not not only the the library is not only about the books it's about the events it's about meetings it's about conversations and that's all so yeah i think it's challenge and uh, sometimes very hard but uh, but yeah it's ch ch challenge for us and for for me and for my coll colleagues too thank you very much i think it resonates well also with with what the other said so far and also it's a challenge at the same time it's also a field of endless opportunity with if um, the team of the library is equipped with the, the right skills and the right motivation. Um, Angeliki, would you like to, to have the last final word on this? What is the main challenge that you are you want to solve in your library? Uh, uh, we want to, uh, to help uh, citizens to find uh, the correct information through internet. Because through internet you can find a lot of information that are unuseful. So we wanted to help them to find the, the right, the correct information. Uh, so the user satisfaction. Okay, that's yes. Um, uh, thank so you very much. You're thank welcome. You very much. Yes, indeed. That uh, another role of the library in the current digital era is to also help the users navigate through this mm -hmm. endless uh, ocean of information uh, that they find uh, online and to have the right reflexes in order to uh, be able to identify uh, the quality information. Uh, well, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much to all the participants. Uh, now I would like to invite my colleague uh, Victoria uh, to, to call for a group photo and um, yeah whoever wishes to be on the photo. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Gabriela. Congratulations for a successful event. So before we go, I will kindly ask you for those who want to please turn on your camera so we can have a group picture and uh, then we can close this event. Uh... Yes, and indeed, I would like to wish all the speakers uh, and also the other participants to have the chance to realize their ideas because they are really uh, important and inspiring. All right, we are going to give a few more seconds and then we will take the picture. All right, so three, two, one, smile. And say Biblio. <laughs> Thank you very much. We send you a good afternoon and thanks for joining us today. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.